Hey everyone, Anton here from the tactical response team on the Hunter Sock. And today I am super, super excited to give you a live walkthrough of one of the incidents that our SOC investigated a few months ago. So the first thing that we're gonna cover here is kind of what the analyst sees uh, when they get an incident like this. In a lot of cases, the kill chain for the threat actor isn't presented to you live uh, as a SOC analyst. You're kind of coming into things when the threat actor is maybe in the start of their kill chain, potentially they're in the middle of it. In this case, the two signals that our SOC analyst received are for lateral movement. We could surmise that the threat actor already has a foothold into the environment. They got in somehow and their next move is to try to get a better foothold into the environment. We see two signals, both are for lateral movement. The first kind of clue that this is lateral movement here is these particular redirection commands is what we call them. And what this is doing is redirecting the output from the tool that the threat actor is using. And you can see that this command is actually switching directories uh, to the C dollar share on this machine. The next signal that we see is slightly more interesting in that it is also using lateral movement and we can kind of see that as the process spawns from services and it has their same redirects. But this one is actually editing the local firewall on the host and they're editing this firewall on the host in order to facilitate further lateral movement. So in this case, they might have lateral movement ability, but they want access to a different method of lateral movement. So when the threat actor kind of lands on your network, they're looking for credentials and they're looking for lateral movement paths in order to get to you know, the dominant heights of your network, if you will. So if we take these two signals and we start extrapolating a little bit and looking a little bit deeper, uh, this is what the process tree looks like. So in this case, both of these commands came from the CMD process. And as I mentioned earlier, one of these commands was changing the directory. And this one that's a little bit more interesting is actually changing the local firewall on the host. When we start to actually dig in to these incidents, so we do have the ability to pull uh, Windows event data fr from your uh, hosts as well, any host that has the Hunter CDR. What we found was that the threat actor was actually moving around the network with the host name Kali. So this is a really, really high impact indicator of compromise that we look for when we look at these kinds of incidents. We're always looking for maybe known host names that we've seen before associated with malice and things like Kali, because most networks uh, do not have a Kali host on their network. The other interesting thing that we kind of found when we dug into this incident a little bit further is we requested the VPN logs from this particular partner. We took a look at them. And what we found was that this particular intrusion was actually started via a VPN compromise. So we don't know exactly how the credentials were stolen for, for the user that was the victim of the VPN compromise. However, when we were communicating with the partner, we found that the password was shared between different accounts. There might have been um, a credential theft from one account. Those credentials may have leaked. They may have been stolen and used and reused to re-authenticate to this network with the stolen credentials. This is a really, really good lesson for basic uh, security hygiene. If you have accounts that are maybe dormant or shared or things like that, those accounts are heavily, heavily targeted by threat actors. If you also have RDP exposed to the internet uh, that will get brute forced, and if you don't have MFA on that RDP interface, threat actors will find success and we will get signals and incident reports that look like this, but unfortunately for your network as well. So I hope everyone enjoyed that walkthrough. Now we'll see everyone in the next one. Cheers.